So you know I've been shopping and taking you guys everywhere. So today I'm showing you what I picked up in my fall decor haul. So I found some treasures. I'm really excited to share them with you guys. I'm gonna walk you through everything I've been picking up and then we will walk around the house and I'll show you some of the furniture items and bigger things I've been finding. So I'm still loving my headboard and the transformation and my bedding, love it in here. Okay, so this is from a company called Lone Star Art. Uh, hi Colleen, uh, she offered to send me a piece when she heard we we're moving to Texas because it's a Texas company. I took a look around their website, there was a few things I really wanted, but this is the piece that she sent me. I haven't seen it, so you guys are gonna see it with me for the first time. This is something I have always wanted. I already know where it's going. You guys will see this again in a video very soon. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, so this is a wrapped canvas piece. So this is not true wood, although it looks very convincing and where it's gonna be, people will definitely think it's framed. I've always, always, wanted an amen sign in my kitchen. We do pray, we have family stories about our oldest yelling when my father-in-law is praying over family dinner, amen, 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 amen. So I am in love with this. I thought I was gonna have to buy the letters and do it myself. So thank you so much, Colleen. And I wanna show you guys a couple of things that the company also offers if you're interested. So I love the A-man sign. I can't wait to hang it, hopefully this weekend with my husband's help. But the one thing I really liked about Lone Star Art is that they had a lot of personalization options. I think when you can personalize something, it makes a wonderful gift. I was originally thinking of one of their bakery signs with the name Auntie Cuckoo on it. It shows you right on the website what it would look like. They did give me a coupon code if you're interested. I will have it in the description. It's just Auntie Cuckoo 15 for an extra 15% off. Okay, now it looks like fall threw up in my room. All right, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you all my fall items and we'll do some household items and we'll get into the bigger furniture items because you guys know I'm a collector. I know what I like when I see it and I pick it up. So, took you guys to Walmart. I love this fall floral. It is a, I think $3 stem, maybe $3.50 this year. It's blush maple leaves. I think they're gorgeous. There's a little bit of glitter if you look close up, but I could tolerate it. You guys know I have a strong disdain for some glitter. They also had these and you guys, if you've been around my channel, you saw I did a bunch of this uh, corn husk DIYs last fall, and this is right up my alley. So same price on these. Let me see. Oh, it was free. It just says wheat bush. Just kidding. So it turns out they were $3.48. I had to look real quick. And when I filmed the Walmart shop with me, I told you guys I picked up one item. It was this mug candle. Fallelujah. I've never heard that before, but I love it and I love this color. So most people look at it and say brown. It's kind of like on the terracotta side. So love it, scented candle, smells amazing. Very fall and I love the mug. That was $6. I ran into TJ Maxx. We have back to school shopping and birthday shopping in our house and I fell in love with this wreath. It was a splurge for me. $30 on our wreath is a lot. I was actually looking at things that look like this at Dollar Tree and was going to make one and it was going to cost me over $20 to get this look. So saved myself a step. And then I know not everyone has HEB, but <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'm in love with it. I will try and take you guys shopping there during the holidays. Um, they have out a few items for fall. This is just like a ceramic terracotta style pumpkin. It does have an open bottom. Could not believe for the size and the look that it was only $6. You know, something like this at Joanne Fabric would be like $20. So I love it. It does have some green in it. And then it goes into that deep orange with some mustard strokes too. So love that color. When I was at Joanne's, I found these. So I was filming the fall for you guys and they had their spring stems on clearance and this was considered a spring stem. How, I don't know, 
but um, all I'm gonna do is take off these berries because I think they cheapen the look. And I got these, I don't know the regular price, it might have been like $9.99 a piece, and I paid like $2.50, and they're quite long. I think I got five of them, so really good deal. And then I was in Dirt Cheap because I am addicted to that store. Now, I will say this has some flaws, but it is a Studio McGee piece. This is should never be $30 in real life. Like, we all know that. Oh, it's actually by Threshold by Studio McGee. Okay. So, anyways, I love this. It's not something I feel like I have to paint or do over. It's not huge. $30 for that. Very pricey. <laughs> Um, that color actually goes really well with my pillows, but the floral is falling out, as you can see. So at Dirt Cheap, I got it for $8, but I think for some reason it was six and change. So great deal on that and we'll lean that guy over. I also found one of the gourds from Target Dollar Spot years past. So this I paid a dollar for goes with my wreath it's so beautiful and warm all right and then Hobby Lobby and Target um, I picked up this little mini sign I just think it's beautiful I love this combination of the leather and black and I also got this I'm not gonna put them together but I do like them together and I just thought that was really cute I did get the hearth and hand mug I'm obsessed with this color and yeah, I picked it up. I did get something from the Dollar Tree. So I think it's Hobby Lobby has pumpkins like exactly like this. And I wanna say they're like $5.99. Well, I found this little guy at the Dollar Tree. Now it did have a scratched up stem and it was the last one and I can see why. So I will fix up that stem or just turn it, but for a dollar, you can't beat it. So now on to more decor. There's a couple seasonal items I forgot. Okay, it was National Thrift Store Day. So I went into a thrift store. They had a pair of these brand new lampshades. And because it was National Thrift Day, they were 50% off. So they're literally brand new, unwrapped, look pristine. So I got them each for $2.50. And then they had these lamps to go with them. And they were priced at $8 a piece. So I paid $4 a piece and look at the regular price, 60 bucks. I think they go really well with our master bedroom and our bedding. The one thing I will say is I think I might look at Walmart and get like higher harps because I feel like the shades could be a little bit taller. Don't look at that, that's part of the furniture haul. And then also while I was out thrifting, I got this set of little pumpkin candles so these were originally from target they were brand new in plastic wrapping i think they are by chesapeake candle so there's the orange white and gray and i paid four dollars and then i found this oh the years flying by and i haven't even thought about halloween but i know i have the jack-o-lantern and you guys know i love jack-o-lantern and cats so it was five dollars i think it was originally from hobby lobby at least that's where i got the um jack-o-lantern that goes with it this was also something i got on national thrift day i am going to be painting it any guesses what color <laughs> couldn't be more obvious um so this was $3, so I paid $1.50. And then not on National Thrift Day, I got these. And total score, stopped in, and they're a dollar a piece. Um, no brand, but like I have been wanting a set of these and they are very popular right now. They're very on trend. So $3 for the set, and then I got these. Thought they were so cute let me open the box and show you they are pristine just so cute so i've been wanting to well i have been collecting salt and pepper shakers but just for christmas and i'll be adding these to the collection it seemed very timely now that we have deer like crossing the street everywhere here okay i took you guys to michael's to show you some of the fall decor 
when I was there, I always kind of snoop around the store. On their candle aisle, you always want to check it out when a new season is coming out because they'll often be clearancing out pieces on that aisle. It's just something I have figured out through the years. So these were both $10 a piece and I love them. They're going to be perfect for fall and I think any season. They're by Ashland and I think I want to say this one was originally like $20 and this one was $25. They're a good size. You still want to you know, head over there and take a look and see if they have anything right now. And then Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I fell back into the Hobby Lobby clearance aisle. It was against my will. There was nothing I could do about it. And I picked up a few more pieces. Uh, these were all, I think, 75% off. So this one was $7.50, which for me, that's a little bit much, but I really liked it together with this one. I already know where they're going. This one was $6.24. And then some coasters. We really need these around the house right now. Coasters have gotten pricey. I don't know what happened. They used to be really cheap. So these are just wood, black, simple. I also fell in love with this. I'm not sure if I'll use it outside or inside, but it was only $3.50. And that color is gorgeous. Okay. You also want to check out the Hobby Lobby, um, I guess it's the fabric section. They have pillow covers. I try and talk about it often so you guys can know about it. Uh, they are clearancing out a few of their pillow covers, probably getting ready for a new line or something. This was $2.99. It's like a chambray between a blue and a gray. It'll probably end up in my son's room. Now, underneath this stuff, I have a woven rug. I might use it as a runner and it is from the Dollar General. I'm so glad I have a Dollar General. It was $10 and it's a good size. I also found this beauty at the Dollar General. I think they had three sizes and there was like a $6 option, a $10 option that was bigger and this one which was the $8 dollar option it says it's 15.7 by 9 it's a good size so I was gonna go hunt down the one in the Target dollar spot that is coming out but I found this one at Target Ge or at Target General wouldn't that be amazing at Dollar General and I love it I love the size of it everything so then I fell back into Ross again against my will <laughs> and I'm not I don't know I, I just love this. That's I love it. Uh, I haven't seen many black globes. I love all of those colors in there. It wasn't super pricey. It was $12.99. And um, my whole family liked it. So that was a win. I also found a mustard pillow. It's just a small one for $4.99 at Ross. Just a little woven pillow. And this year I want to do fall, but I want to do like subtle fall not like full-on in your face fall so i really liked this owl <laughs> it was $8.99 and i know where it is going as well so keep an eye open for that if it's something that interests you at ross i also think they are one of the greatest places to find wooden pieces so i use a frother for my coffee and this is just like a little olive dish it was $2.99 and my frother fits perfectly in it. So picked that up and then they had this, which I thought was beautiful. You can use it in decor, you can use it in the kitchen. And it was only $6.99. I mean, things this big at places like Home Goods are gonna be like $12.99 and up. And then I was at Burke's, which is a store in the area and I saw this clock and I just really, really, really liked it. So it was, I wanna say, yeah, $8.99. So I think that I'm giving you a big hint on what my decor is gonna look like. So before we walk around and take a look at all the furniture, there's a few things I wanna share with you guys that are household items. So you guys know, I've said it, I love dirt cheap. I found this lamp by Target. I'd actually looked at it in the store 
I don't even know how much Target sells it for. I got it for $20. So they say 40, so probably half price. It works. The only thing is there's like a tiny divot in the metal. Like I can't even notice it. And I got this to probably go in the guest room. Love Dirt Cheap. If you have one, look it up. Did a video on it for you guys. Also, I picked this up. So the holidays are coming. We're gonna have guests and this was a really good deal. I got it for $15 and it is a cot for little people. Thought this would be nice to have on hand in our guest room. And um, it holds up to 75 pounds. Walmart. I did get two of these. They are on clearance right now for $4. I don't know if they're getting rid of them because of summer, but I think that these are always nice to have. I got rid of mine a long time ago and I picked up two. I think that that'll be really nice for entertaining. And then for our guest room, I was at Ross and the bedding we had in our master has black and white in it. So I really needed some kind of quilt to kind of do like what I'm doing on my bed here. Um, just kind of have a pop along the bottom, which mine are both kind of an ivory or an antique white, but I think the black will be really nice in the guest room. It comes with shams, and I think it was like $32, so can't beat it. And I've been struggling with what kind of glassware to get. We didn't have cupboards for like nice glasses and everyday glasses. So I went to Ikea and we have some other glasses, but I like these better. They are, I think, 17 ounces, so they're taller. Classic, and you guys know I'm all about the function. So I needed to know that they were flat enough on the bottom that they wouldn't pull water. So when I take them out of the dishwasher, they're not gonna spill everywhere. And it is a set of 10, and it was only $7.99. So they are larger than the ones at Ikea. They're by Simple Dining and they cost less, so. Now you guys know I took you to Target and I was in love with the candles in the Hearth and Hand line. So I went to Walmart and I spent, I think, $1.50, maybe $2 on this four pack. And you know what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm gonna do. So my wreath needs a hanger for our front door. So I got this from Hobby Lobby. It is magnetic. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, let me know if you have any other alternatives. All right, now we're gonna show you guys all of the furniture. So I know it doesn't look like much right now, but I did end up getting this secondhand side table. My big thing was I wanted things high enough because I feel like nightstands are really short right now and our bed is high, so I kind of wanted it to at least be as high as the bed. This one's a little bit taller. I got it on a buy and sell website locally. It's a wood heavy duty um, nightstand. It needs refinishing, so we're gonna be doing that. And then I got it for $25 and I'll show you the one that I also got on my side. Over on my side, I have the other one. Now they don't match. They're not identical, but they're very close. They're both wood, which was important to me. And they are both taller than the bed and they're each $25. So this one doesn't have as much damage on the top. It does have some paint right here, but I am gonna be refinishing it. So this part that looks like molding is a drawer. This is a small drawer and that's a deeper drawer. So I think those will be perfect here in the master. So I finally have my very own desk. Now it's in our master bedroom. I'm not sure if the location will change. So nice to have a place and not use the kitchen table. So I've been looking at desks like this at places like TJ Maxx and Home Goods and Ross even. And they go for like 130 to 140 dollars so i came across this one in the goodwill and it was 30 dollars it's in perfect condition so you know it had to come home with me it has a drawer i'm throwing my makeup in it right now and then it also has an outlet back here and that helps so much when i'm using a laptop and a microphone and I now have a place to do my videos that is not a chair or the kitchen table. 
So this piece I also got on a local buy and sell website. It's a mess right now. Kids went back to school this morning. There's stuff there, real life decorating and stuff on the floor. Um, I've been looking for a shoe cupboard. There was one I saw at Ikea, but it is totally sold out in my area. So I looked on my local buy and sell website. This was 70 and I'm happy with it. I am going to have my husband take the glass panes out so you don't see our shoes. It's the right height for the area and there's already some decor. You guys will see that in a video very soon. But um, I think I want to replace it with like some wood or I don't know, something decorative. And it gives a lot of storage. So it does have the magnetic doors and just the right height for a lamp in our entryway and I think I saved the best for last so I found this chair it was originally I think $15 had it marked down to seven it definitely needs cleaned up so I pulled out the old English and my leather cleaner and now look at it I think it turned out beautiful there's no real flaws to it. I mean, there are these two spaces where I can tell it's paint and I have just really rubbed and rubbed and rubbed and they've gotten lighter. So I'm sure that those will come off with a little more work. I cleaned it up extremely well. And then I just used the um, stain stuff to give it kind of a little more life in the areas it was worn and cleaned up the leather. I put new... Um, foot pads on it and I'm excited to have it I think in our sitting living area while I'm busy doing this got a little friend down here sunbathing I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I'm picking up for our home stay tuned for more decorating videos now that I have some treasures to put away thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back very soon Bye.